And this is Colorado River NPR and BBC News. That's KAWC. I'm Kim Johnson in the studio with me, Dave Reek and Alice Ferris. And we had a two-day drive. That was the plan. That was but the plan. I, I understand we have some uh, some good news to report. Yes, it's been very exciting today because we've gone back and forth and back and forth on our goal because. To be honest, early on, I think I made a mistake in the spreadsheet, and then we what? Then we had some people who called in when I made my mistake, and they had make up the difference, and it was great. So um, actually, throughout today, we were oh, ever inching closer and closer and closer to our five thousand dollar goal, which was, as Dave has mentioned, the gap in our budget to uh, reach the end of the fiscal year on strong financial footing, and um, we made it. Yay! Yay! So, uh, but we wanted to take a moment to thank a bunch of people who called in with their contributions. And at, I suppose if somebody really wanted to, they could still call. That's right, because actually throughout the day, was, are you still taking pledges? It's like, we're always taking <laughs> pledges. So there are folks in there by the phones, and they <laughs> would be glad to take your pledge. And as general manager, it's my duty to remind you that you can always <laughs> support the radio station, regardless of these silly gold things. The important thing is that you call 344-7693 to make that pledge. Or you can call toll-free 877-838-529. To, um, because we are closing out this drive in just moments, so please give us a call right now if you'd like to cast your vote for programs like All Things Considered. Because, to be honest, you know, All Things Considered outperformed Morning Edition yesterday, and I know there's always a friend, friendly <laughs> rivalry between uh, Michelle Faust and Kim Johnson. And uh, we had a little friendly rivalry going on earlier today between our music service and our news service. And so we'd like to see if maybe we can get a few last minute contributions to All things considered to support Kim and the great work that he does and of course you know those people at NPR on all things yeah, considered they don't do that much well, yeah. <laughs> three four four seven six nine three is the number to call here in Yuma I want to thank uh, Judy Watkinson who actually walked in with that's her right contribution. She did. and walk she didn't um, she didn't walk in with just one contribution she walked in with two um, because she wanted to pick up a day sponsorship and she also wanted to increase her sustainer membership. Wow, that's wonderful. So thank you, that's Judy, for, sure. for your support. She looked very busy for a retired person. She did. <laughs> She's still teaching. I said, so how's retirement? How's retirement? She says, well, I'm still teaching. <laughs> so in the fall? No, I'm teaching in the fall, too. That's that seems great. to defeat the purpose <laughs> of, of retirement. retirement but Okay, that's all right. <laughs> uh, you can call 344-7693 if you'd still like to be a part of this nice little mini pledge drive that's uh, been a real lot of fun and a great uh, success for us. And uh, for me, as a general manager, it's always very gratifying when we have these drives and people do call in. We do get our uh, reach our goals. And for me especially, it's great to see all the great comments that we get from people who uh, take the time to uh, support their local public radio station. I want to thank Herb, who called from here in uh, Yuma earlier this morning, and he uh, made a great pledge. And he says uh, he loves everyone who works here at the station, and he thinks we are the right station at the right time which is, uh, I think, a very appropriate point because we've been talking about the last couple of days. In the world of journalism right now, NPR is really one of the few uh, uh, journalistic outposts that is still expanding, is still improving, still providing more and more reporters in more places. And um, we're glad to be a part of that. We are continuing our commitment to local journalism with folks like Kim and Michelle, with uh, Lou. We've got these great interns here this summer. They've been helping us out. Uh, Michelle and Karen, our intern, were out in the desert today out in the sand dunes with the uh, Border Patrol working on a story. And uh, it's great that they make that commitment to do that work. And on a day like today, going out to the sand dunes is not considered fun. That's above uh, and beyond the call of duty. No doubt. But it's still, it's our commitment to tell these very important stories uh, to you as in our community and also to our, the greater audience across the country and around the world. Call right now. Let us know that that's a valuable service for us to do. Call us at 344-7693. And, and you mentioned the journalistic aspect here at KAWC on a local level. Even in our local area over the past two or three years or so, we've seen a lot of retrenchment as far as the other local media and their commitment to having people actually out doing stories. It's so amazing. It, it really is. And so if you support, even though the goal has been achieved, continuing this local journalism, then please give us a call. And uh, it's, as we've said so many times, no matter the amount, tremendously appreciated. Because it's great if we get through this fiscal year, but I think there's going to be another there, one. There's always one in a couple of weeks. So we <laughs> and if that. there isn't going to be another one, it doesn't matter anyway. So. <laughs> We'd also like to thank uh, Alfred, who called in this morning and made a very generous pledge to support uh, public radio here in Yuma. And uh, 
as a local public radio station, it's really critical that individual listeners uh, take that extra responsibility of not just being a consumer of the news we create, but also to be a contributor. Absolutely. And we hope that you'll become a contributor right now in the last few minutes of our pledge drive during this special summer mini pledge drive. Again, the number is 928-344-7693. 3447693. The next caller will talk to our news director, Lou Gum, um, and you will have an opportunity to express what you like, what you don't like, what, all of your opinions about KAWC if you like, or we can make it a really quick call and we can just take your name, your address, and how much you'd like to contribute. And we can put that on a Visa or MasterCard, we can bill you, or whatever. You w if you'd like to become a KAWC sustainer, that would be an awesome way to show your ongoing support for KAWC and help build that base of support that we have that's coming in on an ongoing basis so that hopefully next year we won't have to do a summer mini drive because we'll have more and more people who are providing that ongoing monthly support to the station to pay for the programs that you count on, like All Things Considered. So if you'd like to become a monthly sustainer, please give us a call, 344-7693. Well, I, I, one of the interesting aspects of this mini drive, to me at least, is uh, not only did the goal be achieved, it was achieved quickly, and I think it goes to show that our listeners, they don't leave and pack up and go somewhere in the summertime, maybe in August, uh, <laughs> uh, given that. but otherwise they're, they're here year-round and so that's why we want to continue to provide the kind of journalism, the kind of entertainment, the kind of uh, things you'd expect from KAWC because we especially appreciate you people who uh, are here in the summer as the sun beats down and the yeah, monsoon it, storms arrive. This is the guy saying that as he's getting ready to head out wow. <laughs> to the Midwest here, uh, yeah, leaving tomorrow, right? That doesn't count. <laughs> <laughs> At least he waited till after the pledge drive. Yes. But uh, yeah, he's heading out for a vacation much needed and well deserved. And uh, uh, it's important though, I mean, we often uh, joke about that here at the radio station because we are located here, of course, on the Arizona Western College campus. and. Uh, it's a lot of people on the campus don't realize that we're here 24/7, 365. We don't work four days a week like most mm -hmm. people, and we don't uh, take summers off like most people. Uh, we're here committed to serving this community every day, every night, all the time, and uh, it's possible for us to do that because of community support. And so that's why we're so grateful for the great outpouring during this uh, drive. Call us right now at 344-7693 if you want to be the last person to pledge during this pledge drive. You could be that person. Do you get an award for that? <laughs> I'll, do, I'll do a happy dance. That's true. You mentioned that yesterday. I'll do a happy dance. So give us a call right now, 344-7693, uh, to trigger the happy dance. And, uh, or show, just to show your support for this station and the great journalism that we're discussing. And I think one of the things also that uh, I value about public radio and about the model that we've created is that it really gives us the opportunity to serve the local community. Because we've been talking about the fact that with a lot of media sources, they're, they're conglomerating and grouping together. And so you're, you may have a media source that you're listening to in your community that's not located in your community. Absolutely. And that's not the case with public radio in general in public radio radio. The concept of public radio is that yes we have re resources with National Public Radio, with uh, BBC, with PRI, with all of these other news sources that we can access but what it's what's really important is that we can bring a local spin to it. So we have an opportunity to have the local reflection and the local community's input on what what's happening around the globe. So because that's an important thing to you because you're listening right now during All Things Considered, we hope that you will continue to help pay for it because a lot of people during this little mini drive have contributed before and have chosen to give a little extra for this year to help us through our little fiscal crunch. So if you would like to give a little bit extra this year as we wrap up this fiscal year, please give us a call right now, 344-7693. And it's been really uh, gratifying to me that we've got so many new pledgers during this drive. And that, of course, is a major reason for doing the, uh, the pledge drive, is to make that uh, the folks that have been listening for a while but just haven't gotten around to picking up the phone, uh, to have them call in. And we were very gratified today. Uh, Dr. Myers made this great challenge yes. this morning. He added $50 to each pledge who was, that was a new pledge. Wow. And uh, we went through quite a few of those. That worked out really, really well. And uh, we're really glad to have those people aboard now. And hopefully they will become so, you know ongoing members of the station. And now they have a sense of ownership, which is what we all have when we contribute to our local public radio station. You know, as I've said several times during the drive, you know, we don't have a board of directors. We don't have a, uh, you know, a stockholders meeting to tell us what to do. Uh, we just uh, listen to you guys and uh, provide the service that you need. 
Call us right now at 344-7693 if you still want to become a part of it. Otherwise, you can kick back and enjoy unpledged, interrupted uh, programming for the rest of the day. 344-7693 is the time to call if you've been waiting for the last minute. We are almost officially there. We're in the last 90 seconds. So please give us a call right now to show your support for KAWC and to show your support for community public radio in Yuma, in the, in the Yuma area. So please give us a call. If you'd like to become a KAWC Day Sponsor, we still have those available. It's an $88.90 contribution for eight mentions on the day of your choice. Maybe there's somebody has a birthday coming up, or maybe you have a special anniversary. You can join several anniversary announcements That's we've right. had recently that have been quite sweet, I think. Uh, maybe there's a special event for your nonprofit. Maybe you'd like to recognize your business. However you'd like to use that day sponsorship within reason, we would be happy to work with you. So there are please some do. limits you <laughs> There's a few you know, things that the FCC frowns upon. Exactly. So give us a call, 344-7693 with an $88.90 contribution. Make that call and that pledge of support right now. We'd really appreciate it. You could still become part of this uh, great excitement. And uh, we're very glad, of, glad that uh, uh, you know, we planned this thing and we weren't quite sure how it was going to be responded to. And we're so glad that everybody did step up and we actually reached our goal early right. so we can stop the drive a little bit early. And I just want to thank everyone who took it upon themselves to pick up the phone and dial or to uh, get a hold of the website and make a pledge and show that support for KAWC, especially uh, the new people who come online and also the people who said, here's a little more. That's it's great. very gratifying. And uh, with that said, you're listening to KAWC. Time to go back to NPR. The White House is planning a major new push on climate change. The initiative may include rules to limit emissions from existing power plants. That's a controversial move that environmentalists have wanted for a long time. For more, NPR's Ari Shapiro joins us from the White House.